This is the Calvinier News Roundup, and here are the stories. By now, it's common knowledge that Russia doesn't like Bitcoin. But did you know that the Russian government is thinking of creating their own knockoff version of the cryptocurrency? Russia is discussing the possibility of creating a government-sponsored and government-monitored digital currency. If this pushes through, the country will soon see a nationally regulated cryptocurrency it hopes will take the place of the very popular Bitcoin. Government-sponsored? Government-monitored? It sounds like the exact opposite of what Bitcoin enthusiasts want. Good luck with that! Atlantic City continues to be eaten alive by both its state and local governments. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie signed a bill to help the financially beleaguered city off the backs of the casino industry. The law would see the city's casinos to pay $120 million in the first year and then increase the payments by at least 2% annually for the next nine years. This is about a much bigger issue, everybody. This is about the full faith and credit of New Jersey's cities. Atlantic City will just be the beginning. We have a plan to fix it and to stop the harm. In Macau, non-local executives are having difficulty of renewing their work visas. This comes after the government announced it is tightening the renewal process for gaming managers. The initiative was implemented to encourage the city's casinos to develop and promote Macanese employees to managerial positions. And the first ever Wegos Miami Conference kicks off this week in Florida. The event focuses on the Pan Latin and Caribbean gaming industry and should be a lot of fun. And the exciting NBA Finals between Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers will be big for betters. To get the complete NBA Finals betting preview and odds, visit our website. And for more iGaming updates happening around the globe, subscribe to calvinair.com.